почему трудно диагностировать runic Why is it more difficult to diagnose runic influences compared to the influences of the Christian black magic, for example? Yes, there is such an effect. You've noticed this very correctly. Runic forces and symbols are ancient magical symbols that work on universal energies, meaning that they pull up incredibly powerful force currents and operate according to common laws of creation, so to say. They work in all nine worlds, and this means that they are universally versatile, in a way that they have already been attuned with the entire system of reality, which is why if an influence is cast using runes, it transpires naturally. Therefore, its influence is not usually sensed by the recipient. It isn't an energetic influence, but always informational as opposed to Christian black magic. Christian black magic is a very narrow, very powerful, ritually oriented channel that works as an antithesis to Christianity. You could say that it is uh, not exactly dark Christianity, but Christianity turned inside out. That is what Christian black magic uses to operate. It's based on a highly concentrated offense that Christianity inflicted on everyone it has ever insulted. Imagine how much hatred is in there. And on this exponentially concentrated channel of hatred, it's like thick crude oil. That is what Christian black magic is powered by. Everything that is done on this channel assumes the same tonality and produces the same effect. So this is why it's impossible to miss if an effect or a strike or an influence was cast specifically via these channels. Its effects are specific, they have a very specific taste. So Christian black witches, they of course work on this channel of hatred. It is very strong and very concentrated. Understandably, you can't really do many noble deeds on this channel, more the opposite. Because that is how it is encoded in this channel's algorithm. It's focused on hatred. And the proto-foundation hate, for those of you who study the general theory of magic, has one simple task, to separate things from one another, not letting anything unite. And separation always means spoiling. A separation is either a curse or a discord or an illness, meaning that a person is separated from something he owns. Be that one's right, one's health, one's land, one's relationship, this is exactly the reason why these channels are used primarily for the dark arts. Such is the channel. But some artisans manage to use this channel for good. By extracting this current micron by micron, they manage to separate a person from his illness, from his karma or from his demons. So as you already understand, in the words of the ancient healers, all is medicine and all is poison. It just depends on the dose. Here, the channels of the Christian black magic, the channels built upon hatred, pain and sorrow of the ancient insulted forces and people who once upon a time cursed their offenders, thereby creating this tradition, and they, as you understand, have collected an impressive arsenal throughout all these years. But magical art, even in the form of this dark force, can teach a person to use even that for the welfare of others.